You're tuned into Long Island's only FM sports voice. This is Sports Talk on 90.3 WHBC. Sports Talk, the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I guess I don't get any claps because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not Chris I'm not Chris Muldoon. It is Mark Talkie filling in for the first hour. Chris is on assignment right now and on his way back. He just got off the plane. <laughs> and uh, we got here, they call him T-Sizzle, Tristan Hamilton. After 9 o'clock, I turn into T-Sizzle. You guys know. Um, how you guys doing today? Um, I have something positive to talk about, honestly, with one of my teams. I see something that I like, but we're going to get into it's, that. It's Kevin Knox, right? <laughs> uh, listen, listen, listen. We're not going to give him <laughs> a spoiler <laughs> alerts now. <laughs> and that is also, that's something that I like. That is also the voice of Cameron yes. Bonagora. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> What's up, people? Yes. I thought you were going to say, we found, we found Nemo. <laughs> no, no, I was going to Yeah, say the missing that. Finn, it grew. He hit a, he hit a home run yesterday. Oh, it's the walk off. Brandon oh, Nemo. Oh, Brandon Nemo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was, that was great. And we got it. We finished him before the All Star break up against the Nationals. So hopefully we could put together a, a good series right here. It's been an interesting last few days for the Mets, I guess. Yeah, say. yeah. We had a few walk offs. Florence is, seems like the clutches hit in Mets history. <laughs> Four walk offs in his Mets, Mets history. In Mets history. And. No, 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 not four walk ups and Mets. Four this year. Oh, he four has, this year, yeah. yeah I he has it was ten four. in total. He has ten, ten in total. In, in, yeah. So, t- uh, so um, Flores has really been producing, but 13 and uh, a half again, back. DeGrom pitched another great um, out in there. We just couldn't f- figure out eight eight scores innings. One more eight scores and then five hits. There's nothing else you can ask for. 13 and a half back. Hey, you never know. You're, that's what I'm saying. Did we have a whole second half to. To get back together, nobody well, three quarters, a one quarter or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna see, we're gonna see. But we could do something. The Mets have got hot around this time a lot of times. So yeah, for fifteen. Remember in twenty fifteen, exactly. that San Diego game was exactly. The, the we turnaround. always need that one thing to inspire us. So hopefully, you know that's something good. But the Yankees got a a, a series I'm looking forward to against the Indians. This should be a great, great series. I'm looking forward to it. Is that right, Cameron? Right? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> How, how do you feel it's going to turn out? Uh, hopefully, we can pull out some wins. You know, out of the Indians, they're not a very. Uh, they're a hard team to beat, but luckily their bullpen is absolutely that's awful. The, that's their weakness. That's the weakness so, of the team. Just tied four four. I was listening in on the right end. It's four four yeah. now. So. Okay, and who's pitching for the Yankees? Well, it was Severino and Kluber? No, no. Juan. Oh, that was, those were the starters. Yeah, but both of them got lit up. Basically, yeah. well, oh, okay. Sip, when you give up four runs like that, yeah. So yeah. now. Because what inning is, is it? It's um, bottom of the six. Oh, yeah. So they got they both got lit up pretty early then. Yeah. It happens. It happens. Severino was due for one of those games. The last time Severino had a game that he I, what, didn't win was the Mets series, right? I think that's the last time he lost since... He hasn't lost since then. Because he only has two losses, right? Yeah, two losses. Yes. And the last one was against the Mets, I think, in that series. The last game, the Sunday night game. Oh, yeah, I think you may be right. Yeah, that was the last game that... Remember, oh, yeah, 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 Cindy yeah right. was supposed to pitch, right. but he got scratched, yeah. That was the last Met, time Severino Met. lost, so... Mets have had a good July. Yankees. Met, Mets have had a pretty de- a pretty decent, Ju- a pretty decent July. I'm just hoping that... So far, I'm hoping that August is a big month for us. I'm hoping that we we just get it all together by, you know, by then. Hopefully, something we can pull something out. You know, August is coming around. July is... End of July is coming. You know what that means is coming around. What does that mean? School? Football. <sighs> My Jets. I'm listen. Our I, Jets. I, our Jets. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm 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 looking forward to this season. I'm looking forward to this season. I just hate that you know we have so much of a quarterback competition. You know, if you have three quarterbacks, you have none. But um, I'm really looking at the talent that we have across the board. I think is going to surprise a lot of people this season. A lot of people this season. I was called crazy for saying the Jets is going to win more than four games last year. I was called crazy yeah, by I a lot of people. That. I remember that. I said that. And for I, saying the Eagles will win the division. That's what I'm saying. I was called crazy for that. And I, and I got called crazy also for saying that the Browns is going to get good. And then look at this. But I think the Jets' talent across the board is going to surprise a lot of people next year. Part of no major injury. Who needs Adam Schefter? We got Tristan Howard. Exactly. Right? <laughs> 
what I'm trying to tell you guys. You guys got the best thing out there right now. You know, breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Merrick's owner. Yep. So how's your race doing, Mark? They're doing good. Yeah, actually. they've been doing good. Yeah. They, but they took two out of three against the Mets, right? When they played them? Right. It was two out of three, yeah. Tampa's like uh, four games over 500 right now. Okay. And but how many games? But they're, they're 16 games out of first place. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, Red, so- well, the Red Sox. Red Sox. Yeah. The Red Sox. They can't lose. lose. Chris, Sale, Chris Sale yesterday put on a performance Raising yesterday. Of one what was it, 12, 11 or 12 strikeouts he had? I think it was 11 or 12. Yeah, he had another great perform uh, performance right now. I think he, his his performance just looked down because Severino, he's just, you know, he's on the other side of th- that division, and he's doing um, he's doing so great. But Sale has also had a, a really good season today, um, this season also. Hope leading the Red Sox to this terrific record they have. Yeah, even, even with the Rays, they're still nine and a half games out of the wild card. Oh, okay. And the, 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 you know, in the in the AL, one, two, three, four, six, seven teams are over five hundred out of fifteen. So that's not too bad. But the teams, once you drop off, they drop off bad. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that there's, there's really nobody's really going to catch Seattle. And it's very odd how that Seattle's gotten better as Cano's been out. Mm, I didn't even look at it like that, but they are hot now. He yeah. is out, so I guess, I guess, ironically, that that's yep, that's just how it's going right now. Mm-hmm. And he's not eligible for the playoffs this year because of the suspension. Who? Um, oh, Cano. Cano, Cano. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, these guys, they just, you know, they just want to keep playing, and sometimes they, they, steroid, the steroid situation. I've I've never been a person to really get get into so. it, but you know, it's great. But the the thing about steroids and performance enhancement is that I know we're talking about baseball, but not not really none of my like, my teammates. But I know kids that my age that was basically taking steroids in high school. They was already taking steroids. It's like you know, what I mean, it's, it's everybody wants to have that that edge hey. and not knowing what's the result. Maybe f- uh, two or three years later, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's it's really unfortunate. I, it's I unfortunate. know. And the football side of things, I don't know how much baseball was in football. Mm-hmm. There was a weight limit for, mm-hmm. for growing up. Growing up, mm-hmm. and if you were overweight, mm-hmm. you weren't allowed to play in the game. Yeah. Or and sometimes what they used to do was they moved you up to. The um, no, even if you're in the highest division, like as a kid, yeah, no, but no, but for me, when I was playing in um, Pop Warner, once you get to the the highest level, you know, which is basically right before um, middle school, right? High school, it's like right before high school, no, because mines go all the way up to 17, okay, 6 or 17 when I play for the Springfield Rifles, and um. Once you get to the highest, because it goes, uh, I think, uh, Mighty Mites, Tiny Mites, uh, Junior Midgets, Midgets, uh, no, Pee Wee's Junior Midgets, uh, Midgets, and I think it's like All-American and all of that stuff. And then once you get to like All-American, there's no more weight limit because they're basically saying these kids could be in high school right now. Right. So it's like, you know, in high school, you don't have, there's no weight limit. So they stopped the weight limit after, um, after right. the... The junior midget level because now kids in high school they're gonna gain weight, try to pack on more muscle, so they don't really right. they stop but, that after but a while. the younger ages they have the height limit, the weight limit because if they're too heavy, the kids can get yeah, no, seriously hurt. No, that, no, that's true. But what they also do too, like especially in mines, when you were when you were, they just move you up to higher, so you would be like an eight year old, but because of your size, you might be playing with the eleven and twelve year olds. Yeah, so that's what they 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 do, so that kids don't feel like they're just wasting their money at the program. You know, so that's also, I don't know if that's like how it is everywhere, but that's how, you know, it was where I, where I grew up playing football and stuff like that. Phone number to call in is 516-572-7442. We'd love to hear what's on your sports mind this mm-hmm. evening. Uh, we also will dive into the John Tavares thing. He sent another thing via the Players Tribune. Yeah, I saw that. And uh, what what'd you think of that, Cameron? I what'd think you- it was fine. I know Islander fans were mad about it. I was upset. I mean, it's it's funny. Sam Fisher has been like all over this. He's yeah, I don't been, know like, why. I thought he was in retirement. I, I thought, thought he was retired. retiring. Yeah, I thought he was retired too. And uh, all of a sudden now he's on these phone conferences, tweeting about this, <laughs> making all these different still corny jokes. But uh, I guess he's. I guess it's, it's such a big story that it, it's kind of forced yeah. him like to stay out of retirement. And so John Tavares, he, he's actually been getting some flack on on Twitter. A lot of other people are going to cities now, and they're and they're. I've seen at least one other guy who posted a picture of himself 
a fake picture of, of him in a, in a bed. Get him with pajamas, yeah, yeah. Pajama boy. Yeah, they're calling him pajama boy now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, will that will that be the thing if, if Islanders and uh, Maple Leafs, will everyone wear their pajamas at the game? Maybe. I could see, yeah, I could see people doing that. <laughs> pajama day at the, at the yeah. hockey game? <laughs> let's, let's make that a thing. Can we, can we make that a thing? Actually, start it here. February 28th. Islanders, Maple Leafs, we will go wearing our pajamas. I, uh, I don't like either one of those teams, but uh, you mean come to the show wearing pajamas? No, 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 to the game uh. when, they, when Tavares comes back to play. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure some people will do it. Uh, I know Mark wants to. Now, now, what what happens to those people that say I'm never going to the Islanders until they go to the Coliseum again? You know, I'm never. Then they they basically just waiting right now. No, no, I'm saying though, like. And like they're saying, but even though they th- they kind of really gave up on the Islanders, and now that they're back in the Coliseum, do you think they're going to start following again, or do you think like like uh, like I'm done with the Islanders kind of people? Or you think that people are going to start coming back? That's maybe it. for Barzell well, f- only, and maybe when Stopson and Wallstrom come up, they'll come back again to follow them because I think those two are going to be good for them for the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll have to see. What happens with that? We also, what's happening? Any NFL news we got going on over here? Is these uh, days, Tristan? NFL news and any big news? The McCoy, only, huh? I said uh, Shady McCoy. He got suspended, right? No, not yet. Well, there's an investigation. Oh, there's an investigation going on. That's the biggest thing. Another yeah. domestic violence um, incident with, uh, you know, Shady, Shady McCoy. The thing is, there's so much downtown in the NFL. Yeah. But it's, the season the, is the, so short. Yeah, no, no, but that's not the thing. They play that's, once a week. Something, I mean, some, I feel like some of these players are getting a bad in the deal because, you know, there's some. there are some females who wants to use this platform, has an opportunity to get an extra paycheck, but... These players is just getting put in some bad, bad situations, and it's just, it's just he's he's just a. It's bad to say it because we're getting so used to it that he's just like another person added to the list, and um and it's really it's really unfortunate and um I don't know we like 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 every investigation we're gonna just have to see how it plays out, but it's just another another incident where it's just like oh god uh, again like these guys don't learn. What you know? the NFL has such a big problem with this, and they still have not. Fix they didn't fully the fix the problem. Yeah, but you know because they just it's you want to give everybody like a, 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 a opportunity. You know what I'm saying for to go through all investigation. You just don't want to wrongfully convict somebody. You know because yeah. not every situation, unfortunately, which is very unfortunate. Remember the Ray Wright situation. We all saw that video, but we also know that there are females out there that just takes advantage of this the, yeah. this platform and tries to you know because this is an ex girlfriend from you, I think a year or two ago or something you, that's now coming out and saying you know what another big problem is oh, if oh, a guy like you or me or Cameron were to do something like this we'd get a, a big problem. Oh, Oh, of course, but, right, but yeah. they, since they're yeah, football we, players, they don't realize that exactly. they're getting off easy. Hey, you know, what, what, if the t- what if the penalties were as, was tough as what, what everybody else got? Yeah, that's would what they I'm be saying. doing that? Oh, of course not. They, they they would try to find themselves other situations. And on both sides too, money if, talks. And when you're a big player guy, and you know those owners, they know the cops in the cities and everything, and they everybody looks out for everybody. So you know, we're not going to get that type of that type of benefit out. That's why they say, you know, it's uh, you know, money money talks. You know what I mean? Talk is cheap. It, it takes money to buy land there's two, so. there's two parts with though number one if the if the if the player actually commits the crime mm-hmm. you know they got to have a severe yeah, a full, a, a, a severe, you, right what, what do you think it's a touchy a subject but and you know it's not going to be like every situation is a ray rice situation where we see the video and see how egregious right. it was and what exactly happened but what do you think uh, a standard penalty well, if, just use if, what everyone else gets. You know, you go you go to jail, you serve your time. Also, you think that the football players, yeah. So you right. think it should be for right. Yeah, that, but, but it, it would never you, get to that point, though. But, I don't but, think but then they won't be doing it. That's oh, the no, thing. That, that's true. But I don't think it will ever get to that point. Area. And what you got to also remember is too. Not everybody is also like Greg Hardy that had multiple offenses in this category. A lot of these guys are one, are one, um, one time offenders, and. You, and even in real life, these these guys sometimes they put hands on females and they don't go to jail the first time. Yeah. They get restraining orders and stuff like that, but they don't go to jail the first time. So, you know, it wouldn't probably be right depending on the situation to just just put them right in the jail. I know definitely. And we do have a caller. Call you on Sports Talk. Hello. Hey, who's this? My name is uh, Kenny Carey. Carey, Ken, where are you calling from? Freeport, New York. Freeport, nice. Welcome to the show. What's on? What's on your sports mind? 
Well, I guess you could say the Mets. What's what's up with the Mets? What what do you think of their little uh, thing lately with Nemo walk off and all this and that? Well, I think that's irrelevant because I really think that the Mets has got to make trades. So it doesn't matter how many games they win, because they're just going to lose more than they win. So regardless of the one walk off, I feel bad for Degrom. He should be twelve or thirteen wins already. Yep, definitely. Definitely a lot of no decisions.